Hey my crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make something a little bit different. We are going to make a little flower pot character. You could make this and customize in so many different ways. You could leave the leaves out, put a bouquet of flowers in. Great for a little Mother's Day gift. If you want to know how to make this little guy, stick around. I'll show you how. Thanks for watching. I love you guys. Okay, for this one we're going to start with a 10 and a quarter by 9 inch piece of felt. It's going to go ahead and glue down one side. And I'm using the premium felt from Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit thicker than this is the regular felt. Then I'm just going to go ahead and open it up like this. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the bottom flat. We're going to make a boxed, in, boxed in bottom on this. Okay, then go ahead and open it up. And you're going to take your corners and you're going to fold those inward to the center. Just open it up like that and fold it inward. And you're going to do it on both sides. Just glue it down. It's easier if you put your hand inside of it. It makes it a little bit easier to glue. And then we're going to do the exact same thing to the opposite side. But you want to take your time and let it, uh, let it adhere good. Because you'll see how mine opened up here in a second. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and turn it right side out. And then I'm going to take a 12 inch by 3 and a half inch piece of chipboard. And I'm just going to go ahead and break up the fibers with this little piece of wood. Then just roll it up and we're just going to stick it right inside. And just push it all the way down to the bottom. Then we're going to take a 3 inch styrofoam ball and just push it all the way down to the bottom as well. Okay, next I'm just going to put some glue all the way around the um, base of that ball and I'm just going to go ahead and fold my um, top in. Now you're not going all the way to the top of that cardboard yet. We're just going to go probably an inch above it. And then we are going to start folding over our edge and this is where we are going to meet the top part of our cardboard. So the top part of your cardboard will be at the very top edge. Okay, next I'm going to take some um, furry fleece, brown fleece, and I'm just going to go ahead and cut a circle around it. And then we are going to just stuff this in here all the way around the ball that's in there. Just to kind of cover it up to make it look like dirt. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and do the shoes, and I've given you the pattern in the description below. Go ahead and cut your pattern pieces out. Then we're going to take the little Dollar Tree shoes, and we are going to put two 5 16 inch nuts in each one of the shoes to give it weight. And I'm doing all the, the um, shoes and the legs out of the same furry um, fleece. So go ahead and cut off your piece about the same size as your shoe. We're going to go ahead and glue our shoe to it and then we're going to start trimming it out. So you're going to cut around the edge leaving about a quarter of an inch hanging over the edge of it and then we're going to cut little slits in it all the way around and then we're going to glue it to the shoe. And then you're going to do that on both of them. Okay, next we're going to start building up the shoes. And I'm doing the furry um, part facing inward right here because I want the furry part to be on the outside of the shoe. Just go right around the edge. You're going to come an inch away from the back edge and glue the back end and all the way around the front. But leave that opening in there because that's where the leg's going to go. And you're going to do that with both of them. Just leave an inch from the back edge so we can put his leg in it. Okay, let those dry real good. Then go ahead and turn them right side out. And we're going to slide it over the top of the shoe. Now we're going to start by putting it into the bottom of the shoe or the hole in the shoe first. And then drag it over. We're, we're going to glue in right at the hole area. And then we're going to finish out the shoe the rest of the way. So go ahead and put a little bit of glue right in there. Go ahead and push your um, opening in there. And then you're going to start pulling it down to the back. Now you're going to cut off a lot of this, but it did, did make it a little bit easier to work with. So go ahead and pull it down in the back all the way down. Glue it flush with the bottom. And then keep gluing all the way around until you have it completely glued in. And then we're going to trim off any excess. But you want to make sure that you go all the way below the bottom of that shoe. 
and then just start trimming all the excess off flush with the bottom of that shoe. And then go ahead and fill in anywhere that you have gaps because you want to make sure it's completely sealed in and kind of pull it uh, pull it below the shoe as you're doing that as you're gluing it in. And then do exactly the same thing with the second shoe. Just glue in the circle part first and then start pulling it down. Okay, next I'm just going to take some um, piping trim that I got at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to trim out the top edge. So you want to take your, your, the part that has the cord in it and hang it over the top edge and then glue it down. And then when we fold it over, all you're going to see is that top edge with the cord in it. Just kind of take your time on this so that you can make sure that you do get it pretty even across the top because you will see it once you do fold this over. Okay, next you're just going to go ahead and fold that over to, to so that the top edge of that cardboard is at the top of the flower pot. Probably about three quarters of an inch. Okay, next I'm going to take a quarter inch by six inch dowel stick, sharpen both ends, and then cut it in half. And then I'm going to take a cork and I'm just going to go ahead and twist this in there as far as I can. You don't have to get all the way in there, but just kind of twist it as far as you can. And then we're going to pull them back out and then we're going to glue them in, the, the blunt end, into the cork. Because the other end is going to go up into the styrofoam ball. Now just use some pliers, you can kind of get it twisted in there pretty good. And then do the same thing with the other one. Okay, next I'm just going to take a knife and I'm just going to kind of whittle away a little bit around the edges so I can get these into my shoes. Just push it on in there. They'll be pretty tight so we don't really have to glue them in, but I am going to take them back out here in a minute and glue them in. You just want to get about a little, you know, just kind of trim them down a little bit to get them inside your shoes. And then I'm going to take them back out and I'm going to glue them in. Next, I'm just taking a three and a quarter inch by three quarter inch piece of the same fleece and I'm just going to wrap this around the cork. So you want to just make sure that it butts up right against the top part edge of that shoe. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the very top part all the way down over the edge so that when I put this up into the little pot, you won't see it. And then do exactly the same thing with the other one. Okay, now we're just going to take our little flower pot and we're just going to line these up centered in the bottom part on both sides. Just go ahead and cut it with an X-Acto knife and you're just going to push it right in there. These go in real tight so you did not have to glue these in. Just push it on up in there and then just make sure that they're standing up straight. Okay, now we're going to make some leaves. I'm just cutting some green um, fabric out of the pattern that I've given you in the description below. And I'm using a textured pattern and we're going to glue all the way around except leaving the bottom open because we are going to turn it right side out. You can use any kind of fabric that you want to, but this was a textured fabric. I just like the color, the combination with this. And then I'm just going to start turning it right side out by hand, and then I'm going to put my pliers up in there to pull the rest of the way through. Just kind of pinch the tip up there, and then you can get it to come through. And then I'm just going to use a bone folder to open up the tip. Okay, next I'm just going to take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold it in half, leaving the top part rounded. And then I'm just going to go ahead and pull it out a little bit and cut it off. And then I'm just going to tuck it right down inside of my leaf and glue it in. Next, I took another one of those dowel sticks and I just um, sharpened both ends and I'm just going to cut it off. And I'm only going to cut it to about two and a quarter inches. 
And I'm going to do the same thing for the opposite side, just making sure that they're even. And then I'm going to glue this into the bottom of this leaf. Now I'm going to go ahead and cuff up the, the bottom of it to give it a nice finished edge. I'm going to turn it in about a quarter of an inch and just glue it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that stick in there with the pointy side outward because that's what's going to go into our styrofoam ball. Just glue it in really well. And then I'm going to put five leaves. I made five leaves for this. That's how many I made. And I'm just going to push it right down into my styrofoam ball. And then I'm going to make the other ones exactly the same and put them in also. Just kind of randomly space them out. And these don't, you don't have to glue in either. They stay in really good. Next, I got these little ladybugs, and I'll give you the link for those in the description below. And I'm just kind of randomly putting them onto, onto my leaves. Just to add however many you want or however few you want. And now I'm going to start giving them some character. And I've got these little half inch um, doll eyes. And I'll give you the link for those. And I'm just going to kind of make my mark there. I'm going to poke it with an X-Acto knife and push it all the way into my styrofoam ball. And you can space these out however you wanted to. I just spaced mine out probably uh, about maybe an inch and a half apart. Okay, next I'm going to make the hands. I'm going to take a half inch oven baked clay ball and I'm just going to roll it into a log shape. And then I'm going to flatten the front part and the back part in opposite directions. And then I'm just going to take my knife and I'm just going to make some finger imprints, but I'm not going to cut all the way through. And I'm just going to do four fingers. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bend them over. And then I'm going to take another piece and I'm just going to roll it into a little ball and then roll it out to make the thumb. And both of these hands are going to be exactly the same, except for one's going to be have the thumb on the opposite side, and I'm just rolling it up to like a, do a thumbs up. Just kind of smooth that thumb in there really good. And then turn it up. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other one with the thumb on the opposite side. And I'm going to turn that thumb up as well. Just make sure they're the same size and that they're bent the same way. And then we're going to take a wire, and I'm just taking about a three inch piece of wire, and I'm just going to put it into the end of both of these, and then you're going to bake these at 275 degrees for 25 minutes because they are thick. Okay, for his arms, we're going to take a two inch by three inch piece of that same fleece, and we are going to fold it down on the two inch side. Let that dry, and after it dries, we're going to turn it right side out. And I'm just going to put my pliers on up in there and grab the end and just turn it right side out. And then do the exact same thing with the other arm. Okay, then we're going to take a pipe cleaner and we're going to fold it in half, and in a minute we're going to cut it. Go ahead and put your arm down over the top part of your hand, push it on in there, and then go ahead and glue that to the, to the hand. Push it on down there where you don't see the little nub part, and then just get it glued in real well. Okay, then I'm just going to take my pipe cleaner, I'm going to cut it in half, and I'm only going to use half for each one. Just go ahead and push it on down in there. And then do the same thing with the other arm. Okay, then you're just going to go ahead and glue the pipe cleaner in. Now the pipe cleaner looks like it's a little bit longer than it ju did just a minute ago. I did trim the top off a little bit, but I'm giving you the modified version in the pattern. So you, the correct measurements will be in the pattern. Okay, next we're just going to kind of measure exactly where we want them. I'm just kind of putting them almost in the center. And I'm going to cut a couple little slits in there because I am going to put the arm all the way through there a little bit. Just poke a little um, stick in there to get it pushed through that styrofoam because that styrofoam is pretty dense. And then just go ahead and stick your arm all the way in there. Just make sure that your thumb is facing upward. And then do the same exact same thing for the opposite side. And 
and then I'm just going to shape mine. I'm just going to kind of pull them forward with this little thumb sticking up. And then we're going to take them out and we're just going to go ahead and glue them back in. Okay, next I just cut a little smiley mouth and I just use a circle punch to cut that out with. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue it right to the front. Just put a little bit of hot glue. Don't put too much because you don't want it showing so much. Just a little bit of glue. And give them a little smile. Then I'm just going to stick a flower right down in the middle of it. I just thought I needed something a little bit more on this. And so I'm just taking a little um, three-tiered flower and putting it right down the middle. Now again, you can make these for Mother's Day if you want to. These would be a cute little gift with a bouquet of flowers. You could put a little succulent on top. You could put any kind of greenery or any kind of flower. You could customize this any way. There he is, super cute. If you like these kind of videos, be sure and give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, be sure to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified when I have another video upload. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.